I don't really want to say that much. Seriously. Because I talk about all the time. Okay. <laughs> you got, hey, you got to always face the camera. They don't do that, bro. You can't be like this. Yeah, you can't be all like behind the head, man. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two. Hi, my name is Ada Zane. We're at the Black Tie Scholarship Fair in Eagle and we're here with the, with the event makers, the big time players. You know, what's the inspiration behind this, Terrence? Let's talk about this. Wow, just have a passion for kids. I've been in education for so long, 22 plus years, and just want to make a difference. Uh, so just try to get together some like-minded brothers, such as my guy Aaron, Greg Hill is here with us. Then we also have our other counterpart, Ms. Vanessa Jenkins, she's doing some work right now and receiving our guests for this year's event. But nevertheless, just wanted to uh, create some opportunities for some kids to be able to afford to go to college and to pursue their dreams. And Eric, what was your role in this? How much did you help make this happen? Terrence dragged me into this. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Real right <laughs> no, I think Terrence came with a vision, and I saw the vision just as he did, and I thought it was great. And I said, I want to be a part of that team, and I've been part of it for three years now. Absolutely. What about yourself? Well, I was with the Guardian of Life program in North Carolina at the time, and I was just about to come off of that. This opportunity came up to work with Terrence and Eric and a few other folks to provide kids with scholarships. And I thought this was one of the best ways to give back. So, what does this mean for the kids that you have these scholarships? And what does this mean to them? It just gives them an opportunity to go to school without having to worry about paying the bills, uh, not being able to afford to stay in school and that type of thing, and to also get a lot of loans, which creates debt, right? And so, uh, but the students, it's all about just, uh, just creating opportunities for them to go to school and be stress-free somewhat without having to worry, worry about uh, paying the bills or uh, are they going to be able to afford to stay in school. So what does this look like for the future? What's the future of Infinity in Motion? We just want to keep continue to get bigger and bigger. Uh, we want to continue to go and travel around the country, bring the event to other metropolitan areas where the needs of kids are real, right? So we're slightly to go to Chicago in 22. Um, we are looking at doing some work down in uh, New Orleans. Um, we also want to go out west. Uh, we don't know if we're going to end up in Oakland, the Bay Area, or LA, right? Um, so we have some things we're thinking about, but for sure, Chicago is in play for 2022. Awesome. You guys are doing a really great work. Thank you so much for talking with me. We kept it cool, we kept it fun, we laughed. Enjoy the evening. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, I think you're doing all the talking anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you pivoted. You pivoted. You pivoted to me.